Okay then, this is the Everyday Shooter. Basically, it's a cross between Robotron and Race. So basically, as you shoot things, it makes a difference to the music. And it's absolutely fantastic. Every single level has got a different style of enemy patterns to work out. And it's all about basically chaining up. So if you can keep these going here, anything that goes into those circles would immediately die as well. So let's try and get something, get a chain going, like this. There you go. And then you get those points behind. That was absolutely brilliant. It's a Hungary game that Sony picked up and because um, they liked what they saw. And it's uh, one of my favorite games on the PSN. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely fusion of sight and sound. Not quite up the um, up to the standards of uh, Res, but still bloody good. Actually, when is Res coming out on this? That'd be amazing. Oh, dead. So yeah, there you go. This is um everyday shooter. Now let's have a take a look at the next game. Okay then, this is the um, this is the last guy. I'm not very good at this, but I really do like it. I suppose the easiest way to describe it is it's basically like a top-down flicky, and that you basically have to run around these real-world maps, collecting all the people. So hopefully you'll be able to see him here. So basically, I've got a kind of like Superman guy, and um, they all follow you around. Basically, by holding down the X button, you can basically work out where the people are hiding. And then there'll be obstacles in the way, which you basically need a certain amount of people to clear. It's just really good fun. It's utterly nutty in the way that only the Japanese seem to be able to manage on a consistent basis. And it's just recently had a trophy update, so definitely worth picking up. I think it's about five, six quid. So there's an energy boost there. So basically, as you can see there, I was able to break those because I had enough people. Basically, by holding down the circle, you can basically pull people to you. Let's go in here and grab these guys. Three minutes left. And I've currently got 412 people. So basically what I'm going to do now is drop them all off there at the escape zone and then I can go off and get some more. Oh, miss those guys. Okay then, this is the truly excellent shatter. It's basically like Arkanoid, but if Arkanoid had been pumped full of steroids, taken on a wild night out with Elvis Presley, and basically danced until 6 o'clock in the morning. Utterly, utterly brilliant little game. Really gorgeous music, and you know, it's just breakout in the sense that you just have to take everything down. But what's nice here is by using the L and R buttons, you can basically change the direction of your ball, so you can either suck it in or blow it away and you can pick up multipliers and all sorts by doing this. Really, really clever. And then when you build up enough, when you build up enough power, you can actually go nuts and um, it turns into a kind of shoot em up. It's just really, really good. So um, I'm gonna stop talking just so you can listen to the excellent music.
So as you can see, just like Arkanoid, I've got multiple balls here. Lost one of them. And you've got to be careful because basically as stuff gets nearer to you, it will knock you off and obviously if it does that and you lose your, sh um, your ball, you're pretty much buggered. Another one-up icon again. But again, this is like a fiver, so this is this is so worth getting. Okay, I've, um, I've already done a video of this, but it's so good, I've got to include it. You can get it for eight quid on PSN, and it's a sublime outrun. Absolutely fantastic, it still looks amazing. And this is a heart attack mode, where you're given requests by your girlfriend. So I'm going to shut up now and simply let you enjoy the ride. Okay then, this is a delightful flower. It's a really relaxing game. All you do is you just basically shift your petal with a 6 axis, six, whatever the hell it's called, the DualShock 6 axis 3. And um, you just basically want to get all the plants to bloom, really. Yeah. And it's, it's absolutely wonderful. Really gorgeous, clever concept. It's sort of like a passive version of Space Area. But again, the, um, the music on this is so nice. And what we'll probably do is um, a proper video for it later. But for the time being, I'll just let you relax and listen to it. <laughs> 